In this video, I'm going to teach you granular synthesis. Now, if you don't know what granular synthesis is, that's okay. Because I guarantee that by the end of this video, you will know how to make the coolest, most unique sounds you could have ever imagined making by using granular synthesis. So buckle in. We got a lot to learn. Let's jump into it. Guys, listen to this. If I was on Spotify and I heard a song that started like that, I would just quit. Just quit. Just lay it all down. So to make melodies like this, you'll need a tool which is called a granular synthesizer. Now there's two granular synthesizers that I highly recommend. The one that I use is called Arteria Pigments. The other one I'd recommend to check out is Audio Damage Quanta. This one's a little bit more money but it's just got way too much stuff going on, that's why. Quanta is a lot more simpler than this one and it's half the price of this one, both of which have trials and both of which are available on splice.com for like a rent to own plan so you can get them really cheap and start making the most insane melodies you've ever made in your life. Uh, but the good thing is everything I teach you in this video on Arteria Pigments will be translatable to any granular synthesizer that you choose to go with. Step one to granular synthesis is to load up a MIDI track or a software instrument track and then write a note on C3. Uh, that's actually important. You, you want to write a note on C3 and then I just write a note that's four or eight bars long. In this case it's 17 bars long and then we're going to load up our granular synthesis plugin of choice load up a new preset or just initialize the preset on Arturia Pigments. I have to go to the sample engine and then my note's gonna sound like this. By default, I think Audio Damage Quanta, that one uses just a normal sine wave, so you're just gonna hear a hum if you play that note. Now is the most fun part. Go shopping for a really cool sample. I highly recommend starting out with vocal acapellas and vocal phrases and just vocal sample any vocal sample vocal samples get the coolest results and make really cool atmospheres and soundscapes and even melody so the vocal sample that i'm going to be using sounds like this it's actually from splice it's got a lot of rhythm it's got a lot of air to it and it's just a spooky kind of sound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab that and slide it into my synthesizer. And here's the crazy part. Now you're done. That's all, all you have to do is just drag your sam sam uh, sample in and you have all these knobs, but you don't really have to touch any of them besides the start knob. Every granular synthesis has a start knob. I'm gonna show you what to do with that. So if we just press play. <laughs> Now it's just going to play back the sample. But if we turn on granular, it's already like granular synthesizer. They, they just do the work. Now what I'm going to do is just play with the start knob because this is the, the knob that really makes the sound change. The, the possibilities are endless and that's just with one knob like you don't even have to be a crazy sound designer so watch what happens now when i automate this knob so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an automation point for the start knob so that this knob just turns itself and all i have to do is sit back and listen so i'm going to start this knob and i think it was a good position i had up here at point two and then Go down there. Then I'm gonna play my bass line with it so we can hear a really cool result. Watch this. <laughs> it's just insane like that is the coolest thing <laughs> all right guys this is where granular synthesis gets really weird and just more amazing than anything you'll ever do in a doll and that is when you start granularizing your own music so i'm going to take one of these finished songs i have <laughs> 
And what we're going to do is we're just gonna drop it into our granular synth. So I already did that, so I'm not gonna do it again. Grab that start knob and search for really cool spots of this song that you would like to automate. That's, you could run that through an entire song and as a drone or something, and it's just, you're gonna be untouchable. Watch this. So I like both of those melodies. So what I'm gonna do again, turn on my automation. And I'm gonna take this automation point and then this one. So let's start here. And then we'll grab a break point right there and go up to there. And so we shorten that, copy, paste, copy, paste. We should get the, the coolest, most beautiful melody you've ever heard. Bang. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to learn more about music production, check my course out called EDM Bootcamp. It's not just a full course that teaches you every element of music production, but it's an entire back-end mastermind group where you can send me unlimited tracks for feedback. If that's something you're interested in. There's a link at the top of the description below. Also, I just revamped my entire website. Uh, so if you want to check out all my packs, you can go to alexromsound.com and check out my new website and my packs. And I'll see you in the next video.